Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I created this beauty cosmetic themed Shopify website. This website is optimized to look perfect on desktop and mobile. And in today's tutorial, I'll be using the softwares Shopify and Canva. If you're familiar with Canva, you can create all kinds of graphics and you can just set up a free Canva account to edit and save your designs. Without further ado, let's get into this video. I opened up Shopify and here I'm just gonna go to online stores and then I'm gonna click on their themes section. I'm just gonna scroll down and right here you will see all of their pre-made website templates that you can just install. I'm gonna be installing the original Dawn theme and this is what I'm gonna be using as the base for our website. Once that has installed, I'm just gonna click customize and this is going to be the base template for our website. When you click this button right here, this will show you the website in full screen preview. And then when you click this little icon, it will show you the mobile preview. The very first thing I'm gonna do is click on this header up here and I'm just gonna change the desktop logo position to middle center. This way our logo will be in the center of the website. And then right under announcement bar, you'll be able to type in the text that you'd like to put up here. You can also paste a link straight to a page on your website or product collection. I'm gonna click on theme settings and I'm gonna click on colors. You're gonna click color scheme two and I'm just gonna change this background to black and I'm gonna change the text to white. I'm gonna click on this announcement bar and I'm gonna set this to color scheme two. Next, I'm gonna click on color scheme one and I'm gonna change this background to a light pink color. Right here under theme settings, I'm gonna click on logo and here you'll be able to upload your logo straight from your computer and you can also set your favicon image. You're gonna wanna make sure your logo is in a transparent format so you want the background to be transparent. And as you can see, the logo is pretty small so right under desktop logo width, I'm just gonna increase this. I'm gonna click on the heading and then I'm gonna scroll down. Right here, I'm gonna reduce the top and bottom padding to zero. As you scroll down on your website, when you scroll back up, you'll notice that the header up here will pop up. If you would like to remove that, I'm just going to click on the header. And then right under sticky header, you can just remove this. And if you'd like the sticky header to remain on your website at all times, you can just click always. All right, and here's how our website is going to look so far. Next, I'm going to show you how I designed the web banner. So to design the web banner, the first thing I'm gonna do is click on this image banner here. And I'm gonna reduce the image overlay opacity to zero. This way our web banner will show up fully opaque. I'm gonna click on this heading box and then I'm just gonna remove this. Then I'm gonna click on this button label and I'm gonna remove the outline button style. I'm going to set this to color scheme one. And here you can title the button label and then you can also link this straight to one of your product collections or all of your product. And you can also link this to a page in your website. Okay, so I've opened up Canva and here we are gonna be creating the web banner. So first thing I'm gonna do is click on custom size. So the dimensions I'm gonna be doing are 4320 by 2160 pixels. The very first thing I'm gonna do is click on elements. And when you scroll down, I'm just gonna go to their grids section and I'm gonna upload a two grid. And then I'm gonna remove the grid spacing. Once you click upload files, you'll be able to upload your pictures straight from your computer. And then I'm just gonna drag and drop the pictures that I'm going to add. I'm gonna click on text and then I'm gonna upload a text box. I'm going to put this in uppercase and then I'm gonna apply the font Vogue. I'm gonna apply another text box and then I'm gonna apply the font Hamilton. I'm gonna click on elements and then I'm gonna upload a square shape. Here under text, I'm just gonna upload another text box. I'm going to apply the font Archivo Narrow and I'm gonna put this in uppercase. Here you can type in whatever tagline you would like and then I'm just going to center this. Once you're finished, I'm just gonna go ahead and click share and then download. You're gonna wanna download this in a PNG format for the best quality. And then here on Shopify, I'm just gonna click select image. And then I'm just gonna upload that web banner. Right here under banner height, you're going to set this to adapt to first image. And once you're all finished, here is how I designed the main web banner. Next, I'm gonna show you how I added the featured product collection. So right in between these sections, I'm just gonna click add a section and I'm gonna select featured collection. Right here under heading, you can title this section accordingly. And then when I scroll down, I'm just gonna select color scheme two. And right here, you'll have the option to select the collection that you'd like to feature. 
Really quickly, if you're unfamiliar with collections on Shopify, they're just collections of products that you've chosen to put together to keep your shop organized. To create a collection, right here on your Shopify homepage, you're just gonna click product and then collection. Here, you'll be able to click create collection and you can title your collection and then you can manually add products to this collection. And once you're finished, that is how the featured product collection is going to look. Now I'm gonna show you how I designed the About Us section. So first I'm gonna click Add Section and then I'm gonna insert a image banner. I'm gonna remove the container on desktop along with the container on mobile. I'm gonna click on the button label and I'm just gonna remove the second button label. Next you're gonna wanna apply the outline button style and then you can go ahead and title this button label. I'm just gonna go ahead and link this to the Contact Us page. Once you're finished, you can go ahead and type in your text. Right here under color scheme, I'm going to go ahead and apply color scheme 3. I'm just going to use this because it has white text. And then you can go ahead and select the image that you would like to upload into this area. Once you're finished, to apply that fixed background movement, I'm just going to scroll down. And right here under image behavior, I'm going to select fixed background position. Right beneath here, I'm just going to add a pink bar. So I'm just going to click add section and I'm going to apply rich text. I'm going to remove all of these text blocks along with the button label. I'm going to set this to color scheme 2 and then I'm going to reduce the bottom padding to 0. And that is how I put together the About Us section. Next I'm going to show you guys how I added the collection list. So I'm going to click add section and then I'm going to apply a collection list. I'm going to be increasing the number of columns to 4. Right under heading you can go ahead and title this section. And then when you click on a collection, you'll be able to select which collection you would like to feature. All right, so next I'm gonna show you how I created those collection covers. This is an optional step. So I'm here on Canva and the template I've opened up is 1000 by 1000 pixels. First I'm just gonna set this background to a pink color. Then I'm gonna click on elements and I'm just gonna scroll down to the frame. I'm gonna insert a square frame. Next, I'm just going to search for a fade element and then I'm just going to take this and upload it onto the canvas. This is just going to create a little ombre text area down here. I'm going to click on text and then I'm going to upload a text box. You can go ahead and name this after one of your product collection. And then I'm just going to go ahead and apply the font authentic. You can apply any um, script font that you like. Once you're finished, I'm just going to go ahead and duplicate this page four times. And then I'm going to title these according to their collection. Next, you can go ahead and upload the images right under upload file. And then you can just drag and drop these right here onto these image areas. Once you're finished, I'm just going to go ahead and download these. And then to upload these to represent your product collection, right here on the homepage of Shopify, you're just going to click on products and then collections. Here when you click create collection or if you click on an existing collection that you already have, right here under image, you'll be able to upload an image to represent this collection. So if this is going to be a glosses collection, I'm going to upload the designated cover that we just designed. And then of course here on your Shopify website, you're just going to go ahead and click select collection and then select the collection. And once you're finished, here is how the collections list is going to look. And I'm just using these as example collections, but the title of your collection would show up right here. Just a heads up, I have this Shopify template currently available on my shop in case you just want to download my template. It is a pre-made Shopify theme. This is perfect for if you want to skip all of these editing steps. This is a template bundle, so it also includes all of the Canva templates that you see me creating in this video, so you wouldn't have to create those from scratch. There is also an included installation guide in case you guys need instructions. It is an instant download, so you will receive it as a zip file. And then to upload your zip file on Shopify, right here in your theme library, you're just going to click upload zip file and then you'll be able to go ahead and upload your zip file. That will be linked in my description box along with a discount code. Next I'm going to show you how I did the customer feedback section. So right here I'm just going to add multi-column. I'm going to increase the number of columns to four. Under heading you can go ahead and title this section. I'm going to remove this button label. And right under column alignment, I'm going to set this to center. I'm also going to change the color scheme to color scheme 2. And then to display your reviews, I'm just going to go ahead and click on one of these columns. And right under heading, I'm actually going to be pasting the star emojis. And then right here under description is where you can put in your customer's review. I'm just using this as an example text, but I'd also recommend putting their name right down here in bold. And then when you click on this link icon, you can actually put a link directly straight to the customer's review or to the product that they left their review on. And once you're finished, that is how I did the customer feedback section. 
All right, now I'm gonna show you how I designed this next web banner. First, I'm just gonna add an image banner. I'm gonna click on the button labels and I'm just gonna remove this second button label. And then you can go ahead and title the button label and link it to a product collection or a page. When you click on the text boxes, you'll be able to go ahead and title them. I'm back here on Canva and I'm just gonna be using the exact same template that we're already on. I'm just gonna click add page. I'm gonna set the background to black. I'm gonna go here to elements and I'm gonna scroll down to their frames. And then I'm gonna go ahead and upload two frames. And then here you can go ahead and drag and drop the images that you'd like to add. I'm gonna click on the text area and I'm gonna upload a text box. I'm gonna put this in uppercase and I'm gonna set this to the font babies and I'm gonna put this in bold. I'm gonna change this to a pink color and then put a copy of it right down here. Once you're finished, you can go ahead and download this and then right here, make sure to select page number two. And then back here on Shopify, I'm just gonna click select image and then you can go ahead and upload that web banner. Once you've done that, I'm just gonna scroll down and right under banner height, I'm gonna set this to adapt to first image. And here's how the finished section is going to look. So I'm gonna show you how I designed the Instagram post section. Really quickly, I'm just gonna add an email sign up right here. I'm gonna go ahead and title the heading for this and then I'm gonna reduce the heading size. I'm gonna click add section and I'm gonna apply an image banner. I'm gonna go ahead and remove all of the text blocks and the button label. Once that's done, I'm just gonna click add section and I'm gonna apply a rich text. I'm gonna remove the text blocks here and then I'm gonna set this to color scheme too. I'm also gonna reduce the top and bottom padding. For the button label, I'm just gonna title this follow us and then right here under the link is where you can paste the link straight to your Instagram. Once you're finished, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I designed that Instagram post banner. So I'm back here on Canva and I'm just gonna be using the same template that we're already on. I'm gonna click add page. I'm gonna set this to that pink background. I'm gonna insert a text box. I'm going to put this in uppercase and then I'm gonna apply the font Vogue. I'm gonna duplicate this and create a smaller text box right below it. And then to upload that Instagram icon, right here in L Elements, you're just gonna search for the Instagram icon and then you can go ahead and upload one of these. Once you're finished, I'm just gonna go here to frames and I'm gonna upload another square frame. And then I'm just gonna duplicate this in a little stair step pattern. And once I'm finished, here is how this section is going to look. I'm gonna upload another text box. And here I'm just gonna put the Instagram username. I'm gonna apply the font Noto Sheriff and then I'm gonna put this in italic. I'm gonna change this to the color white and then right here in effects, I'm just gonna apply a lift effect. Once you're finished, you can go ahead and upload the Instagram posts that you would like to feature and then just drag and drop them. Next, I'm just gonna go ahead and download this page. And then here on Shopify, I'm just gonna click on this image banner and I'm gonna click select image. Then here you can just upload that web banner. Once again, I'm gonna set this to adapt to first image. And once you're finished, that is how I designed the Instagram post section. All right, and lastly, I'm gonna show you how I designed that last image banner. The first thing I'm gonna do is add an image banner. And here, I'm just gonna go ahead and remove all of the text blocks. I'm gonna remove the container on desktop and the container on mobile. I'm gonna remove this second button label. And then here, you can go ahead and title this button label and insert a link. I'm gonna apply the outline button style and then I'm just gonna set this to color scheme three. Under desktop content position, I'm just gonna change this to bottom center. I'm back here on Canva and I'm just gonna add a page to the web banner template that we're currently on. I'm gonna go here to element and then I'm gonna click on grids and I'm gonna upload a three grid. I'm gonna increase the grid spacing. I'm gonna go here and upload a text box. I'm gonna change this to white and then I'm gonna apply the font beautifully delicious. I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate this and then put another version right down here. Next, you can just drag and drop the pictures that you would like to add. Here in Elements, I'm gonna upload a square shape. I'm gonna lower the opacity slightly and then I'm gonna upload a text box and I'm gonna set this to the font brown sugar. I'm gonna create a smaller text box right below this and I'm gonna put a little tagline text and I'm gonna set this to the font, The Seasons. Once you're finished, you can just go ahead and download this page. And then here in Shopify, you can just upload that. And of course, right here under banner height, I'm gonna set this to adapt to first image. And once you're finished, here is how that section is going to look. 
All right, and here is how our finished website is going to look. And like I mentioned before, this template is currently available on my shop. It is a Shopify theme in the format of a zip, which you can easily upload onto Shopify with one click. It also includes all of the Canva templates that you see me creating in this video. That will be linked in my description box along with a discount code. Also, thank you guys so much for the love that you've been showing my website templates. These are projects that I've been working on for a really long time. And my goal has always been to sell really glamorous website templates, but for a fraction of the prices that you see on Shopify. So yeah, get prepared for more launches and more templates. I hope this tutorial was helpful. Thank you so much for watching and if you're interested in another style of Shopify website, check out this video here on my channel.